This time on Pedalbox, we're working all around the car. We've added new sheet metal to the side pods. We've thrown a new radiator duct on the front end and we've fitted yet another intercooler out of the back. So this bit's a little bit backwards because as you can see this whole intercooler side pod intake section at least the bottom half is completely finished or very nearly there's a couple of little bits to finish off but it's all in welded we've primed it you name it and we've learned a bunch of lessons on this side so that we can do the other side a little bit better because as you can see there's a little crease in here that we're just not going to be able to get rid of easily so that's a one for way, way down the line to try and find something because there's nothing we can do about that. Now, the initial bend we put in with a piece of 40 mil pipe and we just rolled it over that to get the rough shape and the rough angle between the, the upright and flat across the bottom. And after folding that round, we ended up notching it around the, the framework at the intercooler end, the front here, slid it in and then just started forcing it into place. And we actually clamped across the back and basically pinned it in with some inch tube to get this bend right the way down inside. It wasn't actually as bad as it could have been. Now to finish off the edge right here, this was just rolled over and then spot weld all the way along and just build up, build up, build up and seam the entire thing and then flap it back. And it does work really, really nicely. It works really well. But the good news is that this side is done. The other side is part way in. And again, we just folded this around over the 40 mil pipe and then fought it in to try and make it fit. And it has come out a bit better without this, this crease in. You just can't see it very well because it's on that side of the car and there's a house there. So while this has been going, we've been working on a few other odds and ends, getting bits and pieces sorted that we've been ticking off the list. And one of the bits that we were talking about on the live stream was at the front of the car on the radiator support. Now, anyone who's been watching our stream since the early days will remember we've talked a little bit about this diagonal brace that used to be in the top of this front end framework. And the problem was that diagonal brace here collided with the top corner of the fan. So our fan couldn't actually rotate. It was in contact with the brace. So now that we're off the rotisserie, we've been able to remove this, where previously this was part of the uh, part of the frame that we were holding everything up with, and lop that out and replace it with a couple of much smaller and probably a lot weaker, but probably still good enough little linear stays. The nice thing with these front to back stays that we've put in here is that we can now start putting in a duct to run around the radiator and bring nice fresh cool air around it and I've installed that wrong. So this is the first part of our metal duct that's going to help get air through the radiator and then up out the bonnet of the car. So we've popped the frame off the car again just to weld these up. It is still nice and easy because we've got these four bolting points so we can just take the whole thing off in one go. And we've got these two plates here that are going to form the beginnings of our radiator duct. Now the bends on them are a little bit different from one side to the other. On the passenger side we're able to follow the inside line of this arm a lot more closely which gives us a really nice seal in it. It's going to hold all of the air where we want it to be. On this side though, we've got the lower radiator hose down at the bottom corner, so we can't cut across as aggressively there. So we've got to run this on a slightly different shape, which means that it just runs a bit further back or towards the outside of the front upright on the chassis. So they're pretty similar to each other, close enough. Uh, we're going to get these tacked in now, and then we're going to remove the radiator so that we don't harm it with the proper welds, and we'll be away. While the paint on the radiator support is drying, we've made a couple of changes to the back of the car. Recessed in the mounts on our bumper bar just to make fitting it a little bit easier and also clamped these two little brackets on that we made out of some uh, eighth inch wall 80 by 80 box. And this is the third intercooler which we've teased a couple of times on our live stream and this is where it's going to live. So this goes in across the back, exit of the turbo will go into this side out this side and then over exactly like it would have before through the rest of the system and the two intercooler pods on each side. Now across the top of that we've welded in a couple of little brackets and this cross piece goes in on these two little studs, probably, like that and this holds the uh, intercooler in place. We're going to add a couple of little tabs which I've got down here and they'll just bolt onto the front side like that. Before we do a full test build with the intercooler and everything else, we're going to pop the bumper bar off to add one more piece, and that is yet another manufacturer's part. This is from a BMW Mini, uh, I think, 
2009-2010 ish model and this is a fog light and reverse light combo this is going to sit just underneath the bumper bar like that so we need a bracket this bracket is quite simple two half inch standoffs and some three quarter inch steel bar and it just clips into the top of the light like that then holds it quite nicely and this is just going to go underneath the bumper bar holding the light in place like that so we're going to pop this off weld this on and then rebuild it all Well, last night we got the fans zip tied in place just to see where they're going to fit and I made up a couple of little standoffs because as cool as the zip ties might be, they're probably not going to be enough when these fans start up. They're quite powerful, about 80 watts, so if they're not really mounted down they could torque around and that might actually snap the zip ties. So we're going to pop these little standoffs on and then go back to the front of the car. We've got the front end back together once again, this time with the new bottom half of our duct fully in place and it seems to fit pretty nicely. We haven't got a huge amount of room for air to leak around it, which is going to be great for our cooling. It means hopefully as much of our front layer as possible goes through the rad, keeps the engine nice and cool. But the next thing we've got to do is continue it upwards, ready for it to meet the bonnet. Now we're not sure exactly where the bonnet line is going to be. Obviously this frame here is the lower bound for it. And what we're going to do is take this duct here and build up to that line. And then anything that has to go above that, we're going to build into the bonnet. So we're going to have a duct up to this plane that we're going to build onto here in aluminium sheet now. And then anything above that, we're going to just have molded into the bonnet piece. Well, after no small amount of fabrication, a lot of cutting and grinding and testing and bending and hammering, we finally have a radiator duct and it fits on over the top just like this, he says. I'll be honest, we have a lot of work to do on making it nice and easy to install, but it fits over the top here. We've got two little slots that fit over the existing bolts that hold our radiator in place. We've got two new bolt holes at the back. We've put some nuts here into the frame and it all holds in nice and tidy. So we're gonna have to take this back off again now, paint where all we've welded everything in and uh, we'll show you the finished article, hopefully while I say this in the edit. I don't know about you, I am shattered. I'm pretty bushed, yeah. Yeah, I've done a lot over the last, what, Two, two, three weeks. I mean, these these took the better part of a week to get in both sides and, and finish up, so. Yeah, they were a lot more of a pain than they look. Yeah, they look really nice, but oh, man, just no. Never again. Yeah, but it's, it's been- It's not like we have a whole car with <laughs> sheet metal left to make. No, not at all. Great. But we did some new sheet metal. We did some aluminium at the front of the car. We got the radiated duct on. That looks really good, to be fair. And got the little fairings in down the side of the radiator. So that's that's really nice. We just need to get the electronics sorted for that. So yeah. that the I've got to uh, say, working on the aluminium, way, way nicer than the steel. Yes. Even though that's thicker than this. Yes, it's harder to keep a nice finish because any tiny little ding that you hit into anything, and it just it takes anything. The steel, you can knock it off stuff and you get away with it. But yeah, that and the the, uh, the extra intercooler, finally, finally, after, I think I've had that for six months, we've something like that. We've only been teasing like it on the stream for about three months. Well, since we've been like doing that, the streams, which is, the yeah, streams, which yeah. was January. So yeah, we've, we've eventually plumbed that in and I picked up some fans from McGill. So if you'd like to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to buy some merch like these t-shirts, actually, actually wearing things this time, Go to shop.pedalbox.show where you can see our mugs, long sleeve versions of this t-shirt, short sleeve, hoodies, because the British summer is coming, it's obviously going to rain. Everyone who supports us on Patreon gets access to our Discord server where you can chat with us, we can all share details on our projects, it's quite a cool little place to hang out now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.